Hello everyone, this is your boy ANZGM here, and welcome back to another Fire Emblem Heroes reaction. That is correct, I, ha I did not make the reaction one for uh, Altina, I think that was her name was, for Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. I was completely out of, uh, out of Heroes for an entire week because I was playing Pokemon, I love Pokemon, but I'm slowly getting back into Heroes because I'm going to miss out on a lot of rewards if I don't if I don't come back to it. So, yeah, so today I'm going to be reacting to the Fade channel. Now, it is currently 1.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So the, so the Fade channel came out last yesterday at 11. No, actually at 10 o'clock. And I couldn't and I couldn't see it live on that time because I was working. So by the time I finished work, I came home and I'm about to react to the entire thing. And see how it is. I know there's another trailer after the Fade Channel. So I'm going to see that right after this one. But let's just see what they're going to be announcing. I'm pretty it, they're, uh, I'm pretty sure they're announcing Book 4. So I can't wait for that. So let's see. And let's see how this goes. Plot. Around this time of year, I like to think back on all the good times we've shared. There's just something about the cold weather that makes me feel all fuzzy inside. Heartwarming nostalgia aside, I, they, have once again gathered some exciting news to share with all you summoners. Grab right. some cocoa and cozy up to the latest information on the Fire Emblem Heroes game. That's right. It's time for Faye Channel. Mm -hmm. Wow, there's a lot to share. Faye Channel really is the gift that keeps on giving. Let's get started. All right, let's check out this update. In the latest version update. Faye! Where did all these enemies Ooh. come from? Yes. Phew! Now what do we have here? Mm -hmm. Monier Strike! Monier oh, Strike? I see! Those enemies were part of a new event! In Mjolnir Strike, all you summoners must join forces to protect the Kingdom of Asker against a massive invading army! Hmm? It looks like this horde was let loose by the God of War herself! Thor. Okay. Brace phase. Huh? Did I hear that right? What's a brace phase? I see, I see. With mm. the opposing army fielding so many soldiers, the first thing we should do is take an eagle-eyed look at who we're up against. Here we can see the commander who will be leading the troops. It looks like Narshan is in charge of the next invasion! Mjolnir Strike is split into three distinct active phases. First is the Braced Phase. This is when players will get to see which enemies are getting ready to invade. You should use this time to check what you're up against and make sure you're prepared to take on any foe. Next up is the Shield Phase. I hope you're good and braced. Because this is when the enemy army will finally come knocking down your door. Protect the kingdom of Asker with all your might! Finally, it's time for the counter phase. This one takes place on the day after the shield phase. And it's when you'll get to take the fight to the enemy using the kingdom of Asker's super secret weapon! For those of you keeping score at home, battle during the shield and counter phases and use the downtime to recover and repair. Now that we know okay. what to expect from our enemies, let's brace ourselves for the shield phase! This is Midgard's shield. It was built long ago right here in the Kingdom of Asker, and it's where you'll make your stand against the oncoming hordes. But that enough admiring. We don't have much time before Narshan and his forces arrive, so we've got to prepare our defenses! Let's start by editing our defensive team. 
Wait a minute. Wait. You get to choose eight heroes to Wait a minute. Is this so? The heroes are split. This can't be an event. Sets of two, and you'll need this to has to be in a whole new mode. To find a winning strategy. Heroes are deployed using the pair up ability, and each pair comes with a perk that will help them on the battlefield. For example, Alphonse and Sharena are in the defense position, so they'll be granted an additional 10 defense when deployed. These two would fight for Asker to the very end, so I'm sure they'd welcome some extra armor. Hmm? But what's that unusual symbol above Ephraim and Erica? Oh, I see! They're in the attack position. They get the ability to move freely in enemy Wait ranks. a minute, is this that a whole is, new mode? Those won't initiate combat against them. That means they can focus on dealing damage without worrying so much about their defenses. A hero's role doesn't only determine what they can do in combat, but it also determines where their pair can be placed on the battlefield. Enemies start in the upper part of the map and work their way down. Heroes in the attack position can only move within the top three rows of the map, which we can see here in red. It's their job to get the first attack in on your enemies before they reach your defensive line. Heroes in the speed, defense, and resistance positions can only move in the bottom five rows of the map shown here in blue. They're responsible for putting a stop to the enemy's advance. If these heroes fail, Asker is going to find itself in a whole world of trouble! Right! I think my team is ready! Oh, and one more thing to keep in mind. Mythic heroes may get strong stat bonuses when you use them on the map. Here we go! Oh, I'm so nervous! I know! Let's test our defenses first! Intermediate difficulty should be enough. Indeed. Take this! And that! What the hell? Oh no, Virion! Say you bird brain! Wait! It looks like a pair's cohort can keep fighting, even if the Leer is defeated! Alright, Air, I'm counting on you! Give him! are what we're here to protect, and I already lost one! This isn't good! We need to protect at least one gateway for seven turns if we want to win! I thought I had everything figured out! What could I have missed? What's this? Mechanisms? Say! I knew I shouldn't have what is that? over that part! What are they blocking? There sure are a lot of different mechanisms, aren't there? That pyre looks like one of Muspel's treasures! Could it have something to do with Surtur? Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it! What is this? Placing this mechanism on the map Yo, will give us a bonus in battle, so... At first this wasn't catching my interest, go. but now it is. Alright! I'm ready for you now, Narshan! You don't stand a chance against my army. This bird's gonna bring it! Mjolnir Strike, the first battle. Shield phase. Narshan and his forces are finally here! Let's give them a warm welcome, shall we? But I don't want to get burned. Let's start with beginner difficulty this time. You want to get burned. Leave it to me. How's this? Consider it done. And that! I see. Phew! We managed to drive them back! We're really heating up now! Let's try advanced difficulty this time. on the pressure. What should I do? That's right. Mechanisms to the rescue. First, we tap the moose bell pyre. Then we tap the activation button that appears. <laughs> Burn till nothing remains. Scatter like ash. Now All that right. our mechanism weakened the enemies, our heroes can finish them off. 
Here we go. We go. Is everyone okay? Don't worry. I'll fix you right up using life jewel. Consider it done. Hang in there, Ultima! By these twin blades... It's over! Phew! We somehow managed to drive them back. And look, our score went way up! Not too bad, huh? The counter phase should be a blast! Mjolnir Strike, the second battle, counter phase. It's time to see what Midgard's shield can do! During the shield phase, energy given off in the battle is collected and stored deep within Midgard's shield. Then when it's time for the counter phase, the energy is converted into offensive power. That offensive power is weaponized and loaded into a giant cannon with enough range to hit the enemy encampment. I like to call the cannon the Asker Blaster. It can attack one time for each counter arrow shown here. Okay. All right, enough chit chat. Time to test this baby out. I'll open the way. What is that? Here's some strength! And that's why I call it the Asker Blaster! Oh, I almost forgot. That cannon has enough range to shoot straight into other worlds. That means Narshan's camp is in the range of every player's counter arrows, not just yours. There's also a bonus when all players focus their shot. Players can generate combos by firing their cannons together each hour, allowing them to deal even more overall damage. The overall damage done by the Kingdom of Asker is calculated hourly with each hour's combo bonus taken into account. Hey, it looks like Narshan won't give up without a fight. He managed to turn the tables. If the counter phase ends with the Kingdom of Asker inflicting less damage than the enemy, well, it's bad news for us! So let's give it all we've got! Ready the cannon! I'll open the way! Spring, spring, spring! And fire! Aha! When all hope seemed lost, we were able to use the weaker bonus to inflict massive damage. If the Kingdom of Asker inflicts more damage than the enemy by the time the counter phase ends, we win! And this time it looks like we pull through! Rest. Hey! Mjolnir's strike is over, and it's finally time to rest. Narshan was a lot tougher than I expected, but we pulled through. Oh, right. You probably want something for all that hard work, huh? No worries. Yeah. Rewards are available to anyone who participates in these battles. There are two kinds of rewards. Ooh, wow, the first yes. are tier rewards. Players who participate in the shield phase will be assigned a tier based on the score earned in their defense battle. Red different tiers go offer for different four? rewards. A player's tier can fluctuate based on their rank. Where have I seen a system like this before? Oh, of course, the arena. And what have we here? Divine codes. Hmm, it doesn't look like we can use these now, but it can't hurt to stock up for later. What is it? What is it? The oh my god. They did Asker exactly the same thing as sacred coins. Everyone shares the same Asker level, and you'll all receive better rewards the higher it goes. Work together with your fellow summoners to get it as high as you can. Phew. That was a lot to take in. What I is it going to be? I want to take advantage of the rest period and catch a quick nap, but you probably want to know when Mjolnir Strike starts, don't you? Well... Ta-da! Mjolnir Strike 
starts at 11 p.m. Pacific time on December 8th. The first brace phase will start right after the version update goes live. Oh, great. Make sure you prepare your defenses. I'll be sharpening my talents right there alongside you summoners. Next up. All right, that's pretty cool, but it took a while. Now let's see what it's this update. Time for even more info on the next version update. Oh, this is Altina's profile screen, isn't it? I think some buttons were added. Hmm, it looks like we can learn and change skills right from this screen now. <gasps> Let's yes! try changing a skill. Oh, skills are the yes! only thing we can change. Yes! But sacred yes! seals too. Oh my god, yes! We can even change entire skill sets. This makes so All much better. All of this can be done anywhere and anywhere. You have you no idea battle. how if you're annoying not in the of a battle, is to go from on the hero's icon to bring up their profile screen and customize. Okay, since this isn't live, I could say this before we continue. You guys have no idea how annoying it is to get off the screen from the character, go out, go press the other one. You have to press like four or five buttons just to be able to change one skill or two and then just move on. Like Oh my god. Yes. Hoo hoo away. It's probably a good idea to have a skill that was set ready to go for it? any occasion. Moving on. Oh, summons, yeah. Fire Emblem. Introducing Ooh. new heroes from the Fire Emblem Thracia 776 game. Okay, just Basically, they're going to show these heroes here, and then there's a trailer for it, and then I'm going to watch that trailer. Let's take a look at them one by one. Okay. First up is Avel, the mistress of Fianna. Ooh. She's a swordswoman of incredible strength who single-handedly saved the village of Fianna from bandits, then helped build That's a nice it back art. up. She's a kind woman who leaves the Fianna Freeblades and took in Leaf and company when they were on the run from the Grand Vale Empire. She looks so strong and radiant. What is that weapon? Almost like a goddess. Next up is Marita. I can't believe how calm and collected Yo! she is. What? Wait, what? This is... No. So we were going to get a version of her. You gotta be kidding me! Always looks. When she was young, Avel wow. saved her from a life of slavery, and afterwards she was raised as Avel's adopted daughter. She has devoted herself to a life of training, hoping to get closer to her foster mother by better understanding the way of the sword. She's related to Ira and likely harbors limitless potential. This is Ossian! He's a member of the Fianna Freeblades and takes to the battlefield wielding his beloved axe, the Vouge. He's absolutely overflowing Vuj. with fighting spirit and watching him hack and slash away gets his comrades' blood pumping. I'm sure he'll be a great asset to the Order of Heroes! Okay. Oh, he comes in meantime. Tanya! She's the daughter of a former Ooh. bandit leader and hails from Mount Drake near the village of Fianna. She's hot-headed and strong-willed and can usually be found bickering with Ocean. She gets on his case a lot, but it's only because she cares so much about Oh, Shining Bow. This new hero summoning event wow. runs from 11 p.m. Pacific time on December 5th to 10.59 p.m. Pacific time on December uh, it, 24th. It, it, it probably already started already. about their skills in an introductory video Coming soon. It, it, they, it, it's already out now, so I can understand mm, that. We're almost at the end, but I suddenly yeah, feel so... Yeah, I'm really tired. Holy crap. So sleepy. Can't yeah. keep eyes open. You can say that again, Faye. Who is this? Oh! Oh my god! Yo! New trailer and such. What is this? 
Serena? I didn't pay I didn't pay attention to the story, so I think she got resurrected or something. What is this? Direction. What is this? What is this? <laughs> This is this is this is even Fire Emblem. It's like <laughs> fairies. its thorns. If you're not careful, you might get stuck. There's a shadowy castle descending from the sky. It looks a okay. lot more ominous than the bright and beautiful one on the ground. Ooh, I've got a bad feeling about this. It looks like the Order of Heroes might get mixed up in another tough situation. Book 4 story begins on December 5th at 11 p.m. Pacific Time! That means it's on the hmm. 6th, then. Didn't I already talk about the new Hero Summoning event featuring heroes from Thracia starting on December 5th at 11 p.m. Pacific Time? That's strange, because Book 4 opens at... Oh my! It seems Peony will be part of this summoning event as well! Oh, Faye, you silly what? owl! What? I must have dreamed up the summoning banner I showed you earlier! This is the real one! Ha ha! I almost forgot what? the most important part! They debated us! If you clear chapter one of book four, Peony it. will join you as a five-star hero! She's a light type mythic hero and a dancer. A light type and a and dancer. Starting on December fifth at eleven p.m. Pacific time, there will be a login bonus celebrating Yo. the beginning of Book Four. You can receive two orbs each day for a total of up to twenty orbs. Do your best to check in every day and grow Peony into the best hero she can be. That's wow. all for today, Summoners. The world of Book 4 is like a fantastic dream. And I'm so excited to see where we go from here. <sighs> it's that time again. I wonder if I'll get to finish up the rest of that dream. Maybe I'll hibernate through the rest of winter. <sighs> 
summer. We all want summer back. Okay, so that was my reaction towards the the Fae channel. What I think about it, well, when I think about the that event that they're having, I'm pretty damn sure it's gonna be a full on mode, kind of like how Aether Raids is because it's it's something new and it's something like I guess fresh, but Divine Codes, ooh, Divine Codes. They're they're pulling a thing like they did di like they did with Sake. With, sa uh, with sacred coins like way back way back so um hopefully hopefully this will be the case um the whole uh the whole update where you change your change like your skills learn the skills or whatever like in the when you click on your character i love that feature that i love that feature so much i love it 100 percent. it needed it like bad um uh, let me see. I think they talk. I, I, what was the thing before book three? Hang on. Let me. Let me. Oh yeah, the heroes. Yo, the heroes. I'm like, yo. Okay, cool. Um, I never really played Thracia, but hey, it's it's really it's really good. It's really good. But book four, honestly, that isn't even Fire Emblem at that point. Really isn't. People could say that about book three, but at least there were some elements to it. But. It's just literally a bunch of fairies and such here and there. Like, what? Huh? I didn't understand that at all. But we got a light mythic hero right there, right off the bat, too? We just got an astro, astro hero. Now we got a, a, a light. Oh, my God. A light. I can't believe it. That means after this one, then the next one, it's going to be... It's gonna be a uh, what a uh, leaf, lif, leaf, 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 whatever his name is, because because it was a po no wait, no no wait actually yeah in January yeah because uh, he's the last he's the last hero one so yeah in December we're gonna get a legendary hero which I'm pretty sure at this point we should finish the legendary heroes um but yeah overall very good trailer very good I I really like that a lot. Um, really good. So anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you guys, stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to look at that video right after I upload this one. This is your boy, Anzi GM here, and he is out of here. Later.